Reference is really a starting point to really understand and comprehend our type. But the type becomes even more useful when we really understand and explore the combinations of our preferences and how they interact to create our personality. You'll also notice when you look at the type table that it's organized so that similar types are next to each other and sections of the type table are organized in order to see qualities that are shared by groups or within the group of type. The personality type of the ESFJ likes to organize and organize just about anything, people or situations. Their hierarchy of order states that they have a dominant extroverted feeling function, which means that they're going to radiate warmth and energy and they are very encouraged by approval. They become quite hurt and very quickly with indifference and unkindness. They prefer harmony and that needs to be the foundation of all of their experiences and interactions. Their introverted sensing is part of their auxiliary function, which tends to not be seen very often. They are practical, realistic, down to earth. They tend to be decisive, thorough, and consistent. They have a tertiary function of intuition with a less preferred function or inferior function of an extroverted thinking. This means that they are going to tend to want to give less attention to their non-preferred thinking and intuition parts. But however, if they neglect those parts too much, they'll find it difficult to really acknowledge and deal with the truth of the problems, as well as supporting those who are in charge, as well as standard operating procedures. Preferences within a personality type of perception, which is sensing or intuition, and judgment, which is your thinking and feeling, is what brings about career choices and the interests. So a sensing, feeling personality likes to focus on facts, and they really are going to use these facts in a way that is based upon their values, that includes personal warmth, and they're very concerned for others. They tend to be very sympathetic and friendly. They also are going to find their interests more in services and practical help because they want to contribute to society and its members. So some great ideas for careers for the sensing feeling preference is going to be healthcare, community service, teaching, supervision, religious service, support services, and even sales. How people respond to change deals with their preferences of their energy and their external orientations. So the EP, the external perceiver, is an adaptable extrovert. So when changes are proposed, they're going to talk to everybody around them. They're gonna to talk to the people they know, they're gonna to talk to people at work, people at home, their family. They wanna find out what everyone around them thinks. And then if changes really allow room for their creativity and action, then they're gonna gather resources and try to energize everyone around them to implement those changes. The preferences within a personality type that include the judgment and the external orientations are what help to determine our leadership style, management style, and even a follower style. For the feeling and judging preference types, this is going to be a values-based decision maker. We tend to describe them as being warm and decisive leaders. They're going to make their decisions based on their personal values and empathy with others because they're going to strive for harmony. They need consensus and a supportive environment. They tend to be very expressive and even most inspiring. They're very, very loyal as a follower as long as their leader honors the values that they see. How a personality uses information is dependent upon the concept and combination of their energy and their perception. So the extroverted sensor is an action-oriented realist. Knowledge is important to them for practical usage. Lastly, we're going to look at our temperaments. Temperaments are very interesting when it comes to each of the different personality types. The temperament for the SJ is considered the guardian. Now the temperament is based on our assumptions, our models of personality, and how we complement each other. 
The guardian is one that hungers for responsibility and predictability. They're going to like those standard operating procedures and they like them in order to protect and to preserve. They're very serious, they're very concerned. They trust the past, they trust predictions, they love traditions, they love authorities, and they think in terms of comparisons, sequences, and patterns or an association. They like to focus on the logistics in order to support people, maintain organizations, and achieve objectives. But more than anything, they need security, stability, and a sense of belonging. Remember that the purpose of learning about our MBTI type and the, those dynamics is really to help us in understanding ourselves and to better build and to aid in developing our relationships with others. And this is accomplished when we look at the combinations of our preferences, the dynamics within our personality type, as well as the development and the growth that is available to our psychological type.